and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at a Boeing 737-800 in a special livery of Transavia. As always we start off with the box and here we can see in the front side we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and we have the Transavia branding on top. Then on the back side we have an absolutely amazing image of the aircraft itself and we are left with a, a web link by HAPA where we can get more information. So that's it for the box. Let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Boeing 737-800 in the special Peter Pan livery of Transavia. Now, what is this all about? Let me tell you. For 20 years, the Peter Pan Holiday Club has been organizing holidays for young people between the ages of 13 and 20 who are unable to go on a regular holiday due to illness or difficult circumstances. During these trips, the focus will not be on the illness, but having a good time together with peers. If you want to learn more about this foundation, then I have left a link to it in the description below. But let us take a close look at some of the details this aircraft model has to offer. As always, we start off with the tail section. Here we can see on the vertical stabilizer, we have the Transavia branding. On top of that, we have the last two letters of the registration code. The full registration code we then find on the fuselage. And right under that, we have the aircraft type specification. If we then move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of Peter Pan. And right under that, it says Vacantje Club, which is Dutch and would basically translated mean holiday club or vacation club. Then around the cockpit window, we have some really nice details. We have some really nice markings around the cockpit windows. We also have the window wipers printed on. We also have the name of the aircraft. In this case, it's Wilco van Elk. And just above the cockpit windows, we then have the last two letters of the registration code once again. But we have many more nice details on this aircraft model. For example, the Transavia branding on the engine nacelles or the emergency exits just above the wings here on the fuselage. That can then lead us straight to the wings because they are also quite nicely detailed here on the top side. We can see we have the markings for the emergency exits and we also have the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out. Also the underside is quite decent where we then again have the full registration code of the aircraft. I also really like the winglets on this aircraft. On the other side, it's just kept in all white, but on the inner side, we have a really nice detail where they have substituted the usual Transavia branding with the Peter Pan logo. And I think they've done a really good job with that. And I think Kappa has done a pretty decent detail when we look at the print quality overall here on the belly of the aircraft. Of course, there is the hole in the fuselage for a stand, which is not included with this aircraft model, but I guess we can live with it in this case. Then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here on the back side of the aircraft and here at the front side of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 737-800 from Transavia in the special Peter Pan livery. And I really like this aircraft model. The print quality is excellent and really brings this special livery to life. And also the physical details on this aircraft model are really good. So definitely an aircraft worth to have in one's collection. And if you want to know more about this foundation, again, there's a link in the description below. With that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then do feel free to leave a like. That would be very nice. With that, you show support for this series and, of course, the channel. And if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And you won't miss out on any future videos on this channel. Next time on review, we will take a closer look at an Airbus A3 2200 in the livery of June. So until then, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.